Lipkin live chat series. My name is Alex Matos and I am a member of the residential center, but also this summer I'm lucky enough to work with new student programs and orientation. Um, I wanted to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to join us today. During today's session, we will be covering a variety of resources and information for our new students and their families. Throughout our presentation today, you are welcome to submit questions using the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. We will cover approximately 15 to 20 minutes of content and then open it up to your questions. It is our goal to get to as many questions as possible. Please note that planning and preparation for the fall are still in progress. If there are questions we are unable to answer today, we will work to gather those resources for you. We also encourage you to review the Back to Bentley website for updates and information throughout the summer. We will also be recording today's session for you to view at a later date. The recording will be available via our YouTube channel, which you can access through bentley.edu backslash orientation, or you can search Bentley orientation on YouTube. For those of you who may be watching the pre-recorded live chat, please feel free to direct any questions you have to the email addresses listed at the end of this chat. Thank you again, and we are going to get started with some introductions. I have a member of the new student programs team here with us today. He will introduce himself, so I will turn it over to him. Thanks so much, Alex. Good evening all, thank you all so much for coming. My name is Aiden McBride. I'm a junior student here at Bentley University and I'm working in the Office of New Student Programs to help build out the orientation program for the new students. Alex. Thank you, Aiden. Um, I will turn it over to the folks from Student Equity and Inclusion to introduce themselves. Thank you so much. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Christine Luckner. I am the Associate Dean of Student Equity and Inclusion. I'm very happy to be here with you today. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dorothy Politan. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm the Director of the Gender and Sexuality Student Programs Office, and I am um, just as excited as well. And I, I'm jumping in here to say that Claudette Blot is here. We're just having a little technical difficulty. She's actually in as a panelist and uh, she's in as a participant instead of a panelist. So we're gonna try to fix that up so that she can come on and introduce herself. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll have Jessica introduce herself. Hi everyone, my name is Jess Sumney. I'm the Student Success Coordinator and I work with all four of the offices in Student Equity and Inclusion. Great, and I'm not sure if we've had success. Have we got Claudette with us yet? Not yet, sorry. Just trying to work on getting her fixed. Okay. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. In the meantime, I've got this button that says allow to talk. So I'm gonna see if Claudette is able to at least say hello. Let's see if we can let that happen. Hello everyone. Can you hear me? We this can Claudette. hear you. Thank you, Claudette. <laughs> this is Claudette Blatt in the Multicultural Center, and I am the Assistant Director, Director of Mentoring and Advising. And I'm sorry I'm having technical difficulties, but I'm excited to be here with you. We are so glad you made it. Thanks so much, Claudette, for joining us. Really appreciate it. All right, so I'm just going to give us a quick overview of uh, student equity and inclusion in general at Bentley. Um, this is a unit that comprises a lot of the offices that you have already met the staff of. So we have our Gender and Sexuality Student Programs Office, our Center for International Students and Scholars, our Multicultural Center, and our Center for Spiritual Life. Um, and all of these offices are wrapped together under the umbrella of student equity and inclusion, where we focus on helping students develop identities, um, explore intersectionality and everything in between. So we all work together very closely. Um, and we're happy to tell you about all of our offerings and our various programs um, in this webinar today. Great. And I will turn it over to Dorothy, who's going to be our first, first one to go. Hello, everyone. Again, uh, Dorothy Politan. My pronouns are she, her, hers. So I'm going to talk about um, the Gender and Sexuality Student Programs Office a little bit. 
and here's my email. So you can well you can see my email now, and uh, we'll share it again later. Please, please reach out if you have any questions. So our mission at GSSP um, is really to provide a welcoming and supportive environment for all students to engage with the topics of gender and sexuality. So we offer educational programs, dialogues, campus-wide workshops, and we really want to make a more inclusive, informed, and compassionate community. Um, we also have a gender and sexuality student lounge. Um, so we have a library in there. Um, we have games, puzzles, um, a, a really great place to hang out. Um, this is an inclusive space for students who identify as women and or LGBTQ plus and their allies. Um, and it's home to a, a lot of our student organizations and programs. Um, and I'll go through some of those programs down here, but it's, it's um, just a really nice space on campus in the student center. So now I'm going to go through some of our orgs. So the Women's Leadership Program. So this is a four-year co-curricular program that um, gives our WLP leaders essential skills and real-world experiences um, that they really need to advocate um, and um, advance into leadership roles. Um, so we have workshops and um, informal gathering and community building spaces. Um, and this is um, takes place um, through all your four years here at school. We have PRIDE, which is to student organization. And this org uh, provides support and education and social activities for our Bentley LGBTQ plus community. And some of the programs we partner uh, with PRIDE on um, are our PRIDE mentor program. We have PRIDE open forums. And then PRIDE specifically puts on, um, I guess, a straight person, day of silence, drag bingo, lots of awesome ways to engage. And uh, this organization's also um, putting on new events every single year. We also have a student org called uh, SAGE, Students Advocating for Gender Equality. And um, this group promotes personal development and empowerment of women through open dialogue. You can see some of their great programs here, um, the Vagina Monologues, Pizza Rolls, Not Gender Rolls. That's a great uh, event where uh, you print uh, your pronouns and on a button, and then um, you put on your backpack. So Sage does a lot of really great events that really vary from um, semester to semester. So if that's something you're interested in and you have an idea, I know Sage is very open to hearing about new ideas. We also have the Bentley Women's Network, another student org. Um, this, the BWN, uh, builds and utilizes established network of women professionals and peers to empower um, Bentley's future businesswomen. So this org puts on um, small informal events where they do pumpkin painting, um, making cookies, different things to invite alums in and get to know different alums so that when you graduate, you have also a network of professionals um, who are already working. And they put on a conference once a semester um, with different themes. They've had um, confidence, unconscious bias, women in the workplace. Um, so it's really a great way to network with folks. And each year we have an annual Men as Allies Summit. So a group of men um, who are interested in learning about gender equity issues um, wanted to demonstrate the support for their women peers um, and other genders. Um, and they put on a summit each year to hear from professionals on this topic um, of allyship. So they invite in senior executives to come and talk, what does allyship and specifically male allyship look like in the workplace? Um, and we get a, a lot of folks from um, all over the university to come to that and really learn together. So connect with us, we're on social media. You can follow the Gender and Sexuality Student Program's Instagram, reach out to me and I'm happy to answer any questions.
Great, thank you, Dorothy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our um, director of spiritual life, the Reverend Rob, Robin Olson, is uh, on vacation this week—a well-deserved rest after uh, after been, after what has been a very challenging year for all of us. Um, so I'm going to do my best to introduce you to our spiritual life office. Um, on the next slide, you'll actually see Reverend Olson uh, as well as uh, several of our chaplains. Um, so we have a whole team of spiritual life staff that are dedicated to our students uh, of a variety of faiths. And I'm going to show you uh, the faith options in a few moments. But just so you can see our team, um, they are really a uh, proud part of our Bentley community. And we're, um, I'm sorry you couldn't see them directly, but they are here and they will be here for you in the fall semester. So our Spiritual Life Center, uh, the sacred space um, is, as you see over here on the left, is a space that is actually right in the heart of the student center. Um, it's very central to our campus. It's very central to our student center. And so it's it's a very big um, component, I think, of, of life at Bentley. Um, and it's a welcome place for all students, all religious affiliations, um, and regardless of your belief or spiritual practice. We have several student organizations. So these are a bunch of student groups that have uh, connections and affiliations with the Spiritual Life Center. Uh, I'm not gonna read all of them to you, there's so many, but um, we basically, uh, we just want you to know that there are uh, a variety of these organizations and they are open to all types of students. And there are likely some that haven't even made it onto the slide here. So we have quite a few um, religiously affiliated student organizations. And just a slide here to show you some of our testimonials. Um, we have several students who uh, are, these are all some of our leaders that are uh, affiliated with the Spiritual Life Center um, from all different faith backgrounds, all different, you know, domestic and international students on here. We've got different majors. Um, so the Spiritual Life Center is really a place that draws a variety of people together to interact with one another. Um, and they, uh, all of these students have really uh, volunteered to, to show their testimonials um, and to share how important the Spiritual Life Center has been in their journey at Bentley. So at this point, I'm going to ask um, Jess Somney, who also works very closely with the Spiritual Life Center, to uh, jump in and tell you about some of the programming done in this office. Yeah, thank you. So there's a variety of faith specific and non faith specific programming and student organizations through the Spiritual Life Center. So what you can see here on this slide are the offerings for our Catholic, Jewish and Muslim communities. Um, each of these communities has their own student group and services on campus. So for um, the Catholic student organization, we have a weekly Catholic mass, adoration, um, and then some seasonal holiday uh, observations. For the Jewish community, the student group Hillel serves that community alongside Friday um, Shabbat services. And then again, those high holy days, seasonal um, recognition. And then the Muslim Student Association serves Muslim students along with a weekly Juma prayer, Ramadan iftar and Eid celebrations and Halal dining options, that kind of thing. And on the next slide, on the next slide, we have um, some other faith-based programs. We have mindfulness, so that is not a particular, you know, you can join those programs regardless of your other faith backgrounds. That includes meditation, labyrinth, walks, um, that kind of thing. We have a number of Protestant Christian student organizations on campus. So we have Crew and Symphony Church that have services each week. And then for our Hindu students, the Diwali and Holi celebrations are done in collaboration with the South Asian Student Association. And then Jain, Sikh, and Buddhist students, um, we do off-campus visits to temples, we find support for dietary needs and celebrations throughout the year. And then for signature programs, these are programs that are not specific to any one faith group, they're interfaith, uh, um, program. So the first one, the, the premier one is the Bentley Interfaith Fellows. This is a student leadership program designed to practice interfaith cooperation and spiritual formation amongst students. Um, and that's a great way to get to know people from a variety of faith backgrounds um, and traditions. The study retreats are also open to anyone on campus, and it's an opportunity to have a really intentional and mindful study day during um, a day before finals to support not only your academic success, but your spiritual formation. 
Art and Soul is a series of an event of events to really give you that opportunity to get to know other people and, and sort of meditate on a theme such as peace or gratitude um, by working with a local artist on creating some sort of art project. You can see here on the left, um, one of the previous art projects was stained glass windows. The We're Better Together campaign is a campaign across campus that celebrates our interfaith engagement and the variety of religions and spiritual traditions at Bentley. Um, a big one that hopefully we'll get to do sometime again soon is the Interfaith Day of Service. So this is a, a chance for Falcons to come together and package meals for neighbors experiencing food insecurity. So in past years, we've been able to package about 15,000 meals for people in our community. And finally, there's the Gather, Grow, Go series. So this is a bi-weekly session. It's a collaboration with Spiritual Life and the other three offices in student equity and inclusion to address current re events related to social justice. So every other week we get together, we learn about a topic and we have a call to action to go out and make our community a better place. Um, and so if you liked what you heard and you want to know more, please follow us on Instagram at Bentley underscore spiritual. That's a great place to see what's coming up and learn more about students who participate in our programs. Thank you, Jess. I have the pleasure to talk about the Multicultural Center. So our director is Michael McCorvey and our program coordinator is Vanya Pereira. Our mission and our values are really important to us and it's, it's the center of everything we believe. The, Mo the Multicultural Center embraces students while working with them on behalf of all students. So we welcome any and everyone into the center, although our primary focus, it, it belongs to those students of color. And we wanna make sure that they have a sense of identity and we help them develop it through a multicultural lens. We allow students to embrace who they are and to provide support as well as advocacy and celebrating the highlights that they may have. We work with our community partners to make sure that this is a home away from home for all of our students. So our core values are to support, educate and collaborate as well as celebrate our students. Some of our signature programs, the Mosaic program is a program that allows incoming students of color to receive tools and training and prepare them for success. The program allows students to arrive three days before orientation. It pairs them with a new student and literally they have an incredible opportunity to get to know people and to get engaged. We also have what's called peer to peer. And this program is a program where an upcoming student a incoming freshman is peered with uh, upperclassmen, a sophomore, junior, or senior. And these peers work in tandem together to create a support network to help incoming freshmen navigate the Bentley system. We promote the academic as well as the personal and social involvement and engagement. So there are a lot of fun events that our students do through peer to peer. And it's really important that our students understand that no one gets through Bentley by themselves. So it's important that they have someone to help them sort of find their sea legs when they get there to get them transitioned into our environment and actually generate incredible opportunities. We also have Friday conversations. These are topics that we talk about almost anything, hot topics, things that are going on in the classrooms, things that may go on in the hall, and we get the faculty and staff involved. And these conversations take place on Fridays. We also have two incredible groups and organizations that come out of our office. One is called Coming Full Circle. And this group is literally for women of color or those that identify as women. And these are like big sisters on campus for incoming freshmen. They come in and they're invited to join the organization, become part of a group of sisters who literally will talk about relationships, social changes, injustices, you name it, they talk about it. They have activities and fun events that happen throughout the year. This is a picture of the Glen House. It's our retreat up in Maine. And we hope to empower and make sure that women feel as if they belong on this campus. We embrace their sisterhood as well as making sure that they have a place that they can call home. And with that, we also have the female or the male version of Coming Full Circle, which is Mankind Movement. 
Mankind Movement is just that. It's for men of color to come together and to literally talk about topics as well as social engagement, things that will help them improve corporate strategies as well as finding a way to fit into Bentley's atmosphere and be comfortable embracing their own personal identity. We also do academic advising. You will see most of us listed on Workday as your advisors. And this is something that we have started promoting throughout the time we've been at Bentley. We wanna make sure that our students are comfortable and they know that they have a support system. We get involved. We wanna make sure that our students are involved. So that means that when we're having a conversation, we're not only talking about your academics, we're talking about your social life, what's going on on campus, what's going on at home. It's really important. Life on campus is important because when you're talking to corporate recruiters, they want you to be well-rounded. They wanna make sure that the student or the person that's coming into their environment has a connection. So it's important that our students connect and become acclimated to the community that they're in as well as the external community. So we have alumni that become a part of our group as well and they help our freshmen as well as our upperclassmen find jobs or get connections to other networks of support. I always say that we're a resource to all students and we're sort of like think of us as this big wheel with a lot of spokes and we do collaborations with every single office across campus so that the students that come into the Multicultural Center are not only well versed in what we have to offer as a Bentley campus, but some of the resources that they may need. And if you've heard these things and you're really excited about it, feel free to follow us on Zoom. We have our own Zoom link, it's Bentley MCC. So if you ever wanna just drop in and have a conversation, feel free to do that. Coming this fall, we'll be in person. So we're literally in the student center, room 310. I expect some of you to drop in and ask questions, the hard questions. Maybe you might decide to come to our block party and meet some other upperclassmen. We're hoping to have more than 300 students participate in the block party alone. But there will be events and social engagement as well as academic engagements for all. Everyone is welcome. Thank you, Claudette. So I'll take it from here too to talk about student success. So student success is my role as a student success coordinator and it's something that we want to guarantee for all students, right? There's not a single vision of a successful Bentley student. There's not one way to be a successful Bentley student. And so the student success programs that I'm about to tell you about are in collaboration with all of the offices you've heard from, from SEI. Um, we, we work together, it's very intersectional, right? There's no one identity that doesn't need some of this programming, um, some of this stuff. So student success programming is an opportunity for anyone who's served by student equity and inclusion to be connected to resources across campus. Maybe it's a resource in another office in student equity and inclusion. Maybe it's a resource all the way across campus like the Career Center or academic advising, right? We wanna make sure that you know how to navigate this campus so you can get the most out of your Bentley experience. So if there's ever something that you think maybe you need help with, but you don't know where to go, this is what this is about. Um, not only do we connect you to the resources, but we have proactive programming to help get those resources in front of you, right? So um, it's not enough just to wait until someone asks for help because they're stressed about finals, right? We're proactive. We have programs that help you learn those mindfulness skills, those self-care skills, those study skills in collaboration with academic affairs. And we give you the skills and programming you need to be a successful student. And finally, I wanna emphasize that student success programs are not just for students in academic distress. It's one of the target audiences, but everyone can benefit from having that engagement and thinking about their identity as a Bentley student alongside all of their other identities and what it means to be a part of this campus and part of this community. So I really encourage you to reach out to me to learn more about student success programs and consider it when you're engaging with SEI.
Thank you, Jess. Uh, and just to add one, one more component to our SEI team is our Center for International Students and Scholars. Uh, I know they had a, a couple of separate webinars that were dedicated specifically just to international students. So we don't have members of that team here with us today, but I also am happy to represent. I work very closely with that team uh, and I'm happy to answer questions from our international students if we have any international students or families with us today. Um, you can also see on the screen that this team, this whole team um, is dedicated to helping international students adjust, helping with immigration questions. Um, and they're available twice a day through Zoom advising hours. So um, hopefully those hours are designed to work for as many time zones as we can accommodate um, and to be able to work with people from all over the world. So twice daily during the week, you can always drop in and chat with an advisor if you do need to get a hold of someone from the Center for International Students and Scholars. Um, and I think at this point, we are going to turn it over. Um, we're going to invite uh, folks to ask us questions. I believe that's gonna be done through the Q&A. Alex, do you have a specific instruction here? Yes, Christine. Um, so oh, thank you for the lovely presentation. Um, and we will switch over to the Q&A. So right at the bottom of the screen, there is a Q&A button. If you click on it, you will be able to type any questions you have and we will get those answered as best as we can. I'd also like to remind folks that we do have a current student here with us, which is a great opportunity for you to take advantage of. So uh, please feel free, even if the topic is not fully related to some of the stuff that we presented on the screen today, you might as well take advantage because we're here and happy to help. And I know our student Aiden is very eager to talk to some of the incoming students. So we're happy to answer any questions that you may have. Go ahead, Dorothy. <laughs> I was just going to jump in because um, I get a question a lot about um, what's one piece of advice you would offer for incoming first year students. And um, one piece of advice that I would give to incoming students um, is to get involved. Um, you have so many resources and so many um, folks that you can get in touch with and connect with just um, by getting involved and reaching out. Um, I think the SA, SEI team is a great way to start because we can definitely introduce you all to a bunch of other folks. Um, but I think uh, you won't regret it. Then you can kind of find the places that uh, you want to spend a lot more time. Thanks, Dorothy. Um, so we did get one question, which I think would probably be geared a little bit towards me um since i work in the res center so i can answer that um the room survey didn't address if someone identifies as part of the lgbtq community so i'm curious how the pairing can be done to make sure that person is paired with someone who will not be adverse to that person and i think that's a great question um we in the residential center work with all of our students to ensure that living on campus is a safe and welcoming environment no matter um, you know, how you identify, whether you're a person of color, you're part of the LGBTQ community, um, we want to work with you. Our pairings are strategic and that is one of the reasons why we ask those questions. Um, but what you, what I can offer is that you email housing at bentley.edu and explain your situation. And Jeff and Jared, both who are not here, um, will work with you to find you an accommodation that works well with you. Um, we want you to feel welcome and safe here. Um, and you know, if you do, just in the case that there is a situation where you do live with someone who is adverse to you, um, you can work with your residence director and your RA and we will get you moved and um, into a different room or a different residence hall. Um, as fast as we can to make sure that you are living in a safe environment. 
I am also here as a resource to, to talk to and um, connect folks with you. As Alex said, we work all very closely together. And so it's um, really important that um, you feel safe and that it's a welcoming environment. And we, um, we have a, a lot of resources. So I'm just another resource here if you would uh, like to talk about it. Thank you, Dorothy and Christine. I see you want to answer this question, so I will read it out loud and then turn it over to you. Is there a place similar to the MCC that helps students who are not of color with getting the support that was mentioned during your presentation? Yeah, thank you, Alex. I, I do want to answer this, and I also want to give Jess a chance to answer as well. Um, we are a, a service center for all students. Um, we are here to help, as, as Claudette mentioned, we do help all students. Um, we provide extra support for anyone who walks through our doors. That being said, um, there are specific offices all around campus that have specific designated resources that we can also pair you with. So there is an academic advising center, for example. There is a center for students who have English as a second language. Um, there is, you know, specific career advisors if it's career support that you're looking for. <clears throat> Excuse me. So all of the support and the dedicated um, staff members that are at Bentley are going to help you regardless of your identity and regardless of whether or not you are a student of color. But I'll have Jess chime in for a specific student success um, explanation as well. Yeah, thank you. So some of the resources that you saw in the MCC were related to mentorship, networking, you know, building those leadership skills. And all of those are also skills that we provide through student success programs. And they're things that we collaborate with the Multicultural Center on. So um, a lot of the things that the MCC has to offer, they offer through student success programs, which are open to students of all identities. Um, and it is, it's not regardless of your identity, right? It's part of your identity is part of how you navigate your leadership style. It's part of how you understand mentorship and networking. And so it's really mindful of how your identity plays into those things. And um, Claudette may want to say more, but I know that, you know, the the Multicultural Center is not um, closed to students of, who are not students of color. I think it's really important. Thank you, Jess, for bringing that up. We have an open door policy because students have multiple identities and no one person fits into a cookie cutter mold. And that means that there may be things that you're willing to impart and learn and to know more about. And that's why the center is here, not only to educate, but also to advocate. So we not only help students of color, all students are welcome. So we have Caucasian students who come into the office. We have students who identify in a way that um, some of our trans students come into the office because sometimes they're just coming out and they come out to us and literally we can point them to resources and make them feel at home. So we wanna make sure that all students have a place. So within our SEI team, there's not a student that we turn away because they don't feel comfortable. There's always someone available to help them navigate the Bentley system and to find out if they're looking and they're struggling with their identity to help them find out who they are and where they belong. Thank you, Claudette. And then um, Claudette, could you just let us know what the deadline is for Mosaic to um, sign up? Thank you, that deadline is July 9th. Okay, so that so is Friday. Friday. I was hoping to ask Aiden to pop on and just share a little bit about his experience, if you're willing, Aiden, since, we, since we've, uh, I don't know if there's a question right at the moment, um, just to sort of share. I mean, I know, um, Aiden, I believe you're a sophomore, right? But if you could share about your initial arrival to Bentley and how that went and maybe some, some tips, as Dorothy was saying, for, for people who are just arriving to Bentley, I think that'd be super helpful. Yeah, absolutely. And thanks, Christine. And all you'll have to forgive me if I cut out here and there. My internet's a little unstable right now. I think the biggest concern that students and parents have when they come to university or send their student to university is that they don't know if they're going to find a place where they belong, or that the student's going to slip through the cracks. And I think the testimonials tonight really illustrate that. Bentley structures its offices deliberately to make sure that there's no cracks that students can slip through. And I think as a student coming to university, one of the biggest challenges is 
not so much knowing that you have the resources, but knowing where to go to. And I think if you're a student or you're a parent of the student, I think the most important thing that you can embody is that regardless of who you reach out to at first, you're gonna get connected with the resources that you need. And it may, it may not even be something that you had considered at first. So I would just reassure that if you're gonna find a place at Bentley and we work very hard to make sure that everyone does. Thank you, Aiden. I appreciate you jumping in there. Alex, do we have other questions? We don't have any other questions. So I was thinking maybe one last chance for questions and then we can wrap up and um, we can leave the emails up on the screen for um, a few minutes and, you know, go from there. So I'll give it a, a minute and then jump back in if we don't have any questions. I would also like to jump in and just share that not only do we uh, connect folks with other resources on campus, we can connect you with other students. So that's a that's a nice thing to, to meet other students and um, and talk to them as well. That's a great point. Thanks, Dorothy. <laughs> and for our parents on the call, as a parent of a Bentley alum. I want to encourage you to get involved, stay active, and encourage your young person to become active because building capital, and I'm talking people capital, building your network is so important in this environment. And a lot of times students are afraid to step out of their comfort zone, but as a parent or a support person, you can push them to do things that they wouldn't be, normally they would be afraid to do, but you can encourage them to do that. And it's really important that you understand the environment that your young person is coming into is one that will embrace who they are and help them to develop to who they want to become. Perfect, thank you, Claudette. So I think we will end there because Christine took the last question. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, I just wanna say thank you to all of my colleagues in student equity and inclusion for joining us today and giving us this wonderful presentation. Um, as once again, this will be recorded and it is up on the YouTube channel. Um, and if you have any questions, you can direct them to orientation at bentley.edu, housing at bentley.edu, and then I'll have Christine jump in with an email for them. Well, we have several emails and I realize this is our fault. We should have put them all up on the screen. Um, <clears throat> but there is one nice shortcut email to get to all of us, which is actually sei at bentley.edu. And that can get to, uh, we all have access to that email. So you can forward that. We can get that to anyone on our team. So that's sei for student equity and inclusion at bentley.edu. So that's, that's our cheat. But there's also direct contact information for all of us on all of our websites if you want to reach out individually to someone. Perfect. Thank you all once again, and thank you all for joining us. And we are excited to see you all in person in the fall so soon. Have a great night.